Mistake! Oh no! Oh god, it's a fucking glowing one! Really quickly, I wanna know why there are bullets. There's a static float fly. Is that why there's bullets? Provisioner? Just looking to trade a little. Sure thing. Who the fuck is this guy? I've never seen this. Oh, he's one of my. Where the fuck is he going? I'm guessing this is the guy from Starlight? What the fuck is he doing here? Sorry, you you've missed the road. Okay. Yeah, survival is really really the best way to play this game, if you ask me. Um You can't fast travel, so everything happens slower, which at first seems like a really annoying thing, but it genuinely just makes the world feel more real, and in a game like this, that helps a lot. Um, at least in my opinion. I really... I, I'm the kind of player that I follow the rows as much as I can, because I believe that the random encounters are worth the extra walking time. Uh, Aw, I don't have enough leather. Damn. Okay, well. Hopefully we'll encounter some mole rats. On our journeys. And be able to take their leather. Steal the mole rat leather. So the last couple of streams we've been working on... The National Guard Training Yard. Now, last time I was there, I died, went back, and as I was re-watching the footage, because I do edits of everything that I play, and I put those edits on my YouTube channel, which you can see down below if you're curious, um, I, I found a full set of T-51 power armor that I was going to come back for, um, but I... I just forgot to grab the fusion core out of the back of it when I respawned and went back. So, yeah. Um. Oh, and I left Dogmeat, who is my companion, who is Lenerva's companion on her journey through the wasteland at the Starlight Drive-In. So, first things first, we're gonna go to Starlight Drive-In, uh, and then from there, we're going to go to the National Guard Training Yard and pick up some sweet T-51 power armor, um, or at least the fusion core out of the back of it. Because uh, I do want those pieces, but with the encumbrance, ferrying them back and forth is kind of a pain. I'm doing and a thing where I'm not trying to manage multiple power armor frames, at least not yet. Maybe later on I will be, but actually what I want to do is I want to mix and match the power armor to get my favorite look and upgrade accordingly. And I know it's a pretty linear climb in terms of power armor, like the T-51 is better than the T-45, and the T-60 is better than the T-51, uh, but I sort of, I still like mixing and matching, I think creating a unique power armor is a really good experience. Ah, oh, we're here, Starlight Drive-In. Hopefully... There's the man standing guard. 
Nice to see you, sir. Hello. I remember the last time I had clean fingers. Oh look, there's dog meat. Hi, dog meat. Hey. I accidentally oh. left you here. I told him to stay, and like a good boy, he really stayed. Um. Wow, we're low on beds. But we're good on everything else. That's good. I'm not gonna build a house, a uh, new house right now. I've done that basically every time I've come here. So I'm just gonna leave it for now and we're gonna continue on our journey to the National Guard Training Yard, which is here. Uh, and then we'll try and do some settlement quests to expand our network, because uh, the wider your network is, the easier it is to craft things. Do so these have leather? Wow, I just... I didn't hesitate. I was just like, ah, time for them to die. Radstag hide results in leather, probably. Oh. Uh... It's gone radiation-y, so I'm gonna put on my helmet to increase rad resistance. It's not a good time, radiation. It's very green, these rad storms. Radiation isn't actually green. I don't know where that association came from. I'd be really curious to know. Where, where did the association with... Because, like... I don't know. If you know why radiation is depicted as green in media, uh, let me know. I'd, I'd love to know. That sounds like a good time. You know, it just occurred to me, dog meat doesn't have any radiation resistance. So he's probably just getting, like, really fucked over right now. Oh, I'm just strolling through the radioactive wasteland. <laughs> so, radiation is green because radium glows green? Good to know. That's probably why you use nuclear material to make these, like, glowing tips on the screws. But that does mean that my own gun is irradiating me. You know... People have died due to radium exposure. And here I am just painting my guns with it. Do I would love to get a look at Dogmeat's follower AI. He's the only follower that leads. Sometimes he gets stuck, but so does every follower. Um... But the thing that makes dog meat unique is that he paths in front of you. I killed you last time. How does it feel? How does it feel knowing you died because you tried to murder me? Huh? Oh, I just got out of my power armor. I keep forgetting that if you hold E, you get out of your power armor. So I'm like trying to pick up the, the corpse and wh waggle it around, but I just get out. <laughs> So, yeah, I think we're almost there, uh, yeah, it's just around here. Now, last time we didn't finish clearing the inside, uh, cause we got over encumbered and had to return to base to dump a load of shit out of our pockets. Um, and I believe before I died, I found this, which has a fusion core in it. And, like, the parts are great, but the fusion core is even better. Yes. Gib. <laughs> now you don't have a fusion core, you stupid power armor. 
This is a full set of T51, every single part. Is it always a full set of T51, or did I just hit the level requirement for that to be possible and got lucky? Alright, there shouldn't be mines at the front door. Emphasis on the word shouldn't. I already did the mines. There might be more around, but not here. So last time we were here, we killed some feral ghouls. We discovered this sad dead lady. She's sad and dead. We looked around upstairs and we found a password for this door, which we opened and then we left. So, now we go through this door. Okay. Uh... Why is it danger? Wait, there's no one else in here. Are they coming he from here? Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to... Oh my god, they came from behind! Why were they behind? That's cheating! I wasn't looking behind! Ugh, it's not fair! I don't have very many bullet left in my bullet gun. That was it. Wow, this man is tanky as fuck. Okay, I have to use aid. Uh, my dying ass calls for aid. Uh, I need to put my helmet back on. I forgot to do that. I need to... Let's take a jet. And let's switch to... This gun. This is the wrong gun. But, I mean, it worked. But that was not the gun that I meant to... I was like wondering why it wasn't firing automatically. This is the gun that I meant to equip. Oh my god. My dying ass calls for aid once again. Oh my god. Dying is so easy in this game. Like, you'll just be going on about your life and... Whoops, you're dead. Okay, well that gun's now out of ammo. This gun only has 13 rounds. I have 4 rounds in this gun. Um... Oh, good, I got six additional rounds for this gun. Okay, you know what? We're gonna really quick backtrack. Um, we're not gonna, like, spend a good backtrack very far. But after that, I'm really scared that I'm gonna get swarmed and die. So, um... I have an amazing plan to prepare for that eventuality, which is, I'm pretty sure there's a sleeping bag where we just came from. Um, I'm gonna sleep for a little bitty hour. Also, we're gonna go ahead and see if we have anything we can cook, because we have to eat in this game mode.
Wow, actually there's a lot. Mmm, yummy, yummy, in my tummy. You nanimals are delicious. Just gotta love those mutant animals. We're gonna start taking damage from being thirsty soon. Alright. Now we're going back into this part in the hopes that we can... Now if I commit die, I'll still be alive. I'm pretty sure dog meat is detecting me. Well, that guy's dead. I don't know that I want to open that. I think that's for the sentry. Uh, I don't want to fight a sentry. That's fucking scary. I'll come back to it if I find a different door. Oh look, this is a lot like my pistol, but it has a suppressor on it. Oh wow, that's cursed. Yeah, thanks. I'll stick with mine being not cursed. I took bourbon for some reason. I'm gonna regret that later. I took rum for some reason. I'm gonna regret that later. <laughs> Watch Pip do things she doesn't want to do just because it's super easy and the button is there. Beep. Push the button. Okay, well that guy's 100% not actually dead. He's just taking a little feral nap. See, I told you. I need a... Um, what the fuck is it called? My last impact? Ooh, that's an ooh. Uh, something else. Something else that will heal me. What will heal me? Do I have anything else that will heal me? Ghoul Slayer's leather left arm. Reduces damage from ghouls by 15%. That's cool. What's my current left arm? Um, that's just a leather left arm, so that one's instantly better. There's still baddies. Oh, there's one. Oh god. Mistake! Oh no. Oh god, it's a fucking glowing one. Uh... Take fire, glowing one!
Nope. Ah, uh, shit. I'm dead. This is what death is like. Fuck. Saw that coming. I fucked up when I didn't let myself heal before I got. before I aggroed that feral ghoul. I might have been able to just punch the, uh. the glowing one to death if I hadn't, um, aggroed that feral ghoul that was downstairs and alerted it. Okay, um... Give me the rum. I'm taking it again even though I didn't... Didn't fucking like it last time. I got 45 rounds. That's for my, um... This gun, right? I've got almost 20 rounds. Um... Okay, I have a random hypothetical question for anyone that wants to answer in the chat. Um, is the sudden absence of a noise as loud as the addition of a new noise? Like, if there's a noise that's always happening and it's suddenly gone, is that as noticeable as if, um, as if someone made a new noise? Onion Knife says that the sudden absence of an expected noise is louder. That's interesting. Anyone else have... A different opinion or more to add to Onion Knives' opinion? I'm curious. I want to know. I mean, that guy's dead. Did I kill him before he managed to mutate? Oh damn, that's kind of badass. The legendary ghoul didn't didn't mutate. He just fell over dead. That's badass. Also, I've taken zero damage in that part, which I took more damage last time. So that's I think maybe I should take the time to put that on. Since it literally reduces damage from feral ghouls and I'm having difficulty with the uh the aforementioned glowing one. What the fuck is that guy doing in there? Just chilling? Having a grand old time. There's the fucking. I think I can get the dr drop on the glowing one. Did that. Did that help? Dog meat, no! <laughs> shit. Uh. Shit. Okay, um. 
We're gonna take a jet and a medex for the damage resist. And we're gonna double up on that with the psycho. We're gonna take a rad X because I'm assuming he does radiation damage. Um, and then we're going to drink a vodka. Not good. Not good. Okay, um, shit. Oh, the, um, this one. Nope, um. Oh, that's why the legendary one didn't mutate. I got. There's a. Oh, god, there's two legendaries? Well, I'm fucked. I don't have enough... I don't have enough bullet to deal with this. Okay, uh... Um... Like, just, just smash up the healing on all of that. Uh, how are we doing on... Okay, we've got Psycho. And Medex are still running, so we can't use another one of those yet. Um, we can use another jet. Do we have any weapons that make that worthwhile? Um, well, I just used that, so I don't have it. This is incorrect information. Um, Oh my god. Okay, straight into another jet. I don't fucking care. Just, just, just jet it the fuck up. Oh my god. I can't do anything about him. I don't have any... Okay, hold on. Oh my god. Okay, reload. There... Reload. Reload. Tell me there is a stim pack in here so I can get my fucking dog back. Yeah. That would have been. That just would have been really useful. <sighs> I would love to help Dog B. You have no idea. Tell me there's some kind of loot room that's just like full of stim packs. No, but there is a um, Bethesda toilet skeleton. Gotta love your Bethesda toilet skeletons. There's gotta be... 
They wouldn't send me all this way and not give me any fucking stim packs to heal my fucking dog. I have to believe it's here somewhere. Where's that door? My guess is I'm gonna leave this building and they're gonna send dog meat to um, Sanctuary Hills. Only he'll never actually appear there. So I'll have to use it. I'll have to go reinstall a mod that gives you back the access to the command line in survival mode. Um, and then use that command um, to summon dog meat because he'll just vanish at Sanctuary Hills. He won't actually appear there. That's my guess. Yep, he's going to Sanctuary Hills. <laughs>